we're taking a look at what's going around this morning. Joining us in studio is Dr. Kessinger from Integris to answer all your questions about warts. I know. What a fun topic. I know. <laughs> okay. No so one loves talking about them. We, yeah, let's talk about warts. Yes. Let's start at the beginning. Tell right. us exactly what is a wart. How do we identify it? So a wart is just a viral infection that's slow growing in your skin, and it doesn't really bother your skin, so your body doesn't really attack it. Okay. So that's why it can linger there for so long. And I will tell you, if you don't do anything, they will go away. But what really bothers people is sometimes they're in a site that they don't really like it, mm -hmm. or it can be troublesome, like if it's on your hand or your foot or on your finger, where you keep picking at it. Now, I will say warts are contagious, so if you pick at it, you can spread it, but I promise you, you don't get them from frogs. So. <laughs> I, I guess that's a common it's a common misconception, misconception yes okay. but the thing is is they and they just have this kind of I guess best way warty look they they're not smooth they tend to be textured mm. and so that's there but it's people get frustrated because they linger they can linger for years yeah and it just drives them nuts I'm also someone who like picks at something mm -hmm. if I don't like it like yeah. I'll just keep picking no, and touching don't, it don't do so it. what do we do instead of that what are some home remedies for so us? if you are not if you're wanting to get rid of it there's two things you can do at home to get rid of it. First is something called salicylic acid. Yeah. That's compound W, wart X, things like that. It comes in gels, creams, ointments, band-aids, things like that. And basically it's an acid that kind of just irritates the skin for it to go away. Again, it takes weeks, months for this to work. Ugh. My other thing I like to tell people, and everyone thinks I'm a little crazy, is something called duct tape. So, yeah, I've, I've heard of this. Yes, and it actually does work. Okay. The trick with the duct tape is you need to moisturize the area first, so bath or shower, and mm -hmm. then after your bath or shower, file it down. So get a pumice stone, get like an emery board, label that as the wart place because you don't want to rub it on anything else. Yikes, yeah. But file it down and then put a piece of duct tape on top. So cut it to about the size of the wart, try to leave it as long for four to seven days, and then you want to rip it off um, to kind of pull off that top layer of skin, let it breathe for a day and repeat. And what you're just doing is you're irritating both of those, you're irritating the skin so your body's like, oh, there's something going on there, I should go check it out so I can make it go away. Wow, okay, yeah. so duct tape, a duct tape trick working for you there. Yeah. Uh, now let's talk about when our, we should go see a doctor about our warts. So if you're trying all those methods and it's just not working for you, we have other things that we can do at the office to make them go away faster. They're not pleasant, but they can work. Usually I use like, um, liquid nitrogen to freeze the wart. Mm -hmm. If you're worried it might be something else, if it might not be a wart anymore, or if it's looking weird or infected or something like that, I probably need, to, or your provider probably needs to take a look at it. Or if you feel like it's just spreading. So a common place I see it spreads quickly is like along the fingernail, because mm -hmm. people just pick at that all the time and yeah. then they're spreading it across all their fingernails. And then we might have to intervene with something more assertive or uh, evasive to try to make it treated faster. But, you know, a single ward at home, easy to take care of. But if you're more worried about something more complicated, we never have trouble looking at that. Isn't there over-the-counter freeze products that you can buy? They can. I just don't feel like my patients get the best success with them. Okay. So that's why I don't recommend it. I think you have to apply it. You really need to read the instructions and really apply it well. Mm -hmm. The thing is it stings and it hurts. So most people aren't good <laughs> about leaving it on as long <laughs> as they need to. So okay. in the office, I usually will do it. And I, there's certain things I look for that's hard to explain to do for at home. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Well, everything you need to know about warts, Dr. K. Thank you so much. Okay. And if you've got more questions, all you got to do is go to our Facebook page, post the question. You can also email it to us at news at okcfox.com.